press! This just in! Lauren Goodger narrowly avoided walking into a puddle. Who is Lauren Goodger? She's a British television personality famous for her role on ITV2's semi-reality show, The Only Way is Essex. Uh, what's The Only Way is Essex? Think the Jersey Shore or the Hills, but set in Essex, England. Kind of like Geordie Shore, I imagine. I don't really know, I've never seen it. And I hope it remains that way. Never watched any of those shows and have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about? I wish I could say the same. Cheap, nasty, and vapid shows such as these prey on our voyeuristic impulses while promoting unintelligent, egocentric behavior, catapulting talentless individuals into the public eye, and dumbing down the population who readily devour it like mindless drones! But I digress. Lauren Goodyear, who recently had a 6,000 pound boob job, narrowly avoided walking into a puddle when exiting a shop in Essex. The nimble celebrity artfully sidestepped the small body of water and continued on unscathed. Thankfully, the Daily Mail, a most reputable publication if there ever was one, and its photographers were on hand to capture and report on this harrowingly close call. How is this news? It isn't important. It isn't even interesting. She avoided a puddle! It's not like she walked on the water or cured cancer. She didn't cure cancer, did she? Now think about this. Somebody got paid to write a story about something that didn't happen. What? How is that a job? And where do I apply? I reckon I'd be brilliant at it. Royal scandal! The queen felt a short-lived tingling sensation at the back of her nose. No sneeze was forthcoming. Jay Leno avoids parking fine by putting money in the meter. He used correct change. Seriously, this is so much easier than reporting on things that actually happen. There's no need for fact-checking or background research. Both of which sound like they'd be terribly boring and tedious. Who has time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that! Two-year-old gag? Oh yeah. And heaven forbid new services should actually report on things that matter like, oh I don't know, the escalating tension between Russia and the Ukraine? Have you heard about that? It's kind of a big deal. And it's actually news. How did we allow our news services to become so degraded that they won't go near a story until it's sexy? Why are news aggregates like the Philip DeFranco show or SourceFed better sources of news than long established services with deep pockets and bountiful resources? Wait. I think I actually know the answer to this one. It's us. We are the problem. We just don't care enough. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and share. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time.